Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey Squeaky, do you know why the Norwegian Navy has barcodes on the side of their ships? So when they come into port, they can Scandinavian. <laughs> Woo, baby. How you doing? I hope you all had a delightful and wonderful weekend. By yourself, with your family, with friends, barbecuing, going on a cruise, whatever you did. I hope it was great. Because here we are, the beginning of the work week. It's Monday, y'all. And we got things to talk about. <laughs> Man, what a delightful weekend it was. For me and Squeaky and the Nerdy Family. Uh, what did you guys do this weekend? Anything of note? I don't know what the weather's like where you're at. But here, it rained. All weekend. And happily. Because man, has it been rough with no rain. It has been hot as the hills of Hades. So it was nice. To have a little break for a couple of days. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, please. Thank you very much. We appreciate each and every one of you. Down below in the description are some links to things that I use and or enjoy. And especially coffee. Uh, you may just find things you didn't know were worth having. Like Geek Grand Coffee. Especially Nerdrotic Blend. Or... Invader Coffee, delightful people from Texas, and they have the bomb diggity. There you go. That's it. Nobody pays me. I just love their stuff. <laughs> and you will too, I hope. <laughs> Let's get into it. Today we're talking about a movie you've never heard of. This, this seems to be a common occurrence. It seems to be recurring that I bring you things that you've never heard of but are also well worth watching. Like this right here movie Brian and Charles it just came out it's a it's a it's a foreign film I guess you might say it's filmed in a foreign land but it is in English so no need to worry um, it's a comedy I guess the uh, internet movie database thinks so it has some funny bits but it is a it, 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 it's an endearing story about the struggle of being <laughs> <laughs> this was came out in 2022 PG hour and a half <clears throat> no nudity uh, I didn't notice any language other than like flipping and I mean that literally uh, he says flipping a lot <laughs> now to be fair I may have missed a couple you know but nothing too severe I don't believe uh, so uh, anybody could watch this, but it deals with some complex things. Now look, this is shot as a documentary. It's in the style of a documentary. The it, It's the life of Brian. Right? Brian is the man in the blue jumpsuit in that picture. And Charles is the big weird looking fellow beside him. And this is about a dreamer inventor I mean this man is brilliant he came up with an egg belt and if you don't know what an egg belt is it's a belt that carries eggs that's right things of that nature good natured fella alone and kind of like a handyman if you will invents things on his own time and uh this is the documentary is taking place to learn about him. And one day. He decides to build a robot. Out of a washing machine. And a mannequin head. <laughs> and he proceeds to. And this is the story. Of Brian and Charles. Now. You know what. <clears throat> I thought it was brilliant. It, it's. It's just delightful. 
you can understand and feel the emotions that Brian goes through as a man living on his own, out in the wilds of wherever, some small town where they they don't have, they've got a little convenience store, but that's it. <clears throat> it's small town wherever, and, and it, I, I do not for the life me remember where it's at, <laughs> but it's it's somewhere off in Ireland or some rural area over that way, over that way. <laughs> and Brian is just a good-natured guy. Helps people out. And boy, is he interesting. I, I'm, man, this is a tough one. Because this just came out. It didn't. It wasn't released in the theaters here. And I don't know how many theaters it was released in. But this is a feel-good movie. This is a perfect date movie. End result is Brian... And Charles had to deal with the town bully. And boy, do they. So if you're looking for a movie to watch with your mate, your best mate, your girl, your wife, your mom, your dog, this would be the movie to watch. I would suggest it to anybody. It's just a fun, it's a fun watch. It's fantastic. And the way it's shot is brilliant. <clears throat> it's like Blair Witch Project, but... <laughs> but no, nothing scary. <laughs> Other than they eat a lot of cabbage. Yeah. Cabbage seems to be <laughs> the meal most desired by Brian and Charles. Do yourself a favor, watch this movie. You're going to appreciate it. And you're going to enjoy it. There's no, uh... There's no politics in it. There's no... Left or right leanings. It's just a man making his way through the world. Who happens to make a robot. It sounds... It, it sounds abstract, but it, it makes sense in the context of the movie. So... <laughs> there you have it. Squeaky chair liked it. <clears throat> Look. I hope your week goes delightful. As delightful as this movie. And you should definitely check this movie out. It's well worth at least one watch. Maybe even two. I enjoyed it. And you will too. From Michael the Microphone. Bob. Squeaky chair. And, and this tired fat nerd we'll see you on Wednesday